One, the Hamilton County prosecutor says when the police investigation into the situation which led to the shooting death of the zoo's gorilla is finished, his office will determine if any charges should be filed. Harambe was shot after a four year old boy got into the enclosure Saturday afternoon. It was clearly a shot heard around the world. Local 12's Rich Jaffe joins us now from the zoo with a look at the continuing reaction to this tragedy. Rich. Rob, with easy access to social media, this event has taken on a life of its own, not just here in Cincinnati, but around the world. Gorilla Gate is getting bigger and nastier every single day. Okay, everybody back up. There was no doubt the video would go viral. The gorilla going from protective to dangerous over the minutes captured on camera. With lots of people nearby, the four-year-old got away from his mother and into the enclosure. Kim O'Connor was right there and shot the video. This was a four-year-old that obviously wasn't afraid of anything. You know, should he have been out there? Should he have been able to do that? No, no. Was it neglect on her part? I don't know. After a member of the zoo's dangerous animal response team shot and killed a gorilla, social media went crazy and it hasn't stopped. Robert Poe saying on Facebook, should have shot the parent that was responsible. Chris Stutz says sue the parents for the price of the gorilla, file child endangerment charges and ban them for life from the zoo. The day after the event, the zoo director said he thought filing charges would not be a good plan. The police were here. The police did not cite anyone. There's not a legal action. Um, but I think they know we saved that little boy's life. On Facebook, Emily McCarnan says, I think the mother is to blame since she was on her phone and the child showed a desire to get into the enclosure. But I think filing charges is ridiculous. Negative posts on social media far outweigh the positive ones. But M. Fitzgerald says the zoo bears most of the responsibility. They should have had better barriers for the safety of the guests and animals. The photographer who was right there wants people to know. It was an accident. It was horrific accident. It's a trauma that mother, that child's never going to forget. It's a trauma that the person who had to shoot that gorilla is never going to forget. And they need to stop being judgmental. They need to stop being mean. There is no official time frame for how long the police investigation will take, but it's important to note here, it is absolutely standard operating procedure for the prosecutor's office to review a police investigation once it's done. At the Cincinnati Zoo, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Rob? Rich, thanks very much. While we're not identifying the mother of the little boy, we're told Cincinnati police have been in touch with her and have advised her about some of the threatening social media posts.